You hear this an awful lot, don't wear capris, just don't wear capris, but I know some of you love them. So why is it that we say don't wear capris and what can you do about it? But you're gonna to wanna to know, first of all, why we say don't wear them. Number one, they hit your legs. The traditional capri hits your leg at the fattest part of your leg. Why, when you want to look slimmer, most of us, we go out of our way to dress to look slimmer. Why do you want to wear a pair of trousers that are gonna make your legs look fat? They shorten the leg because the hem is nowhere near your ankle. It's cutting your leg in half and not even your whole leg in half. It's cutting your lower part of your leg in half. Another reason we moan a bit about capris is because they are often styled badly. I've seen ladies out and about wearing the capris, cutting them off at the fattest part of their ankle, and they're wearing a t-shirt that's tight, slim fitting, cutting their hips off at the widest part of the hip. Put the two together and you've really got pretty well a disaster, figure-wise, width-wise, slimness looking wise. On top of that, it's a dated look, it's a dated outfit. So if you care about not looking dated, that is an outfit you want to just slip aside. So as you can see, they're a difficult item to wear and they can make us look frumpy. But I know some of you are gonna still wear them. So let's think about how you can wear them. And to be honest, if you don't care, about wearing them, how you're wearing them, or that other people think that perhaps you shouldn't be wearing them, then that's absolutely fine. But if you do care, there are some tips here that maybe may help you to actually style them better or find you alternatives. What are capris? Capris typically have an inseam of 23 to 25 inches. Cropped is about 26 inches and hits around about two to four fingers above your ankle bone. Then ankle grazers have a 28 inch seam and hit on your ankle. Where they hit really is gonna depend on how tall you are and how long your legs are, obviously, but this is how ideally you want them. Ideally, you don't really want capris at all. And it has been said somewhere that they make you look like you're standing in a ditch. I'm gonna leave you with that thought while we move on. So if you've got some in your wardrobe and you absolutely insist still on wearing them, that's absolutely fine. But what you might wanna do is make sure that you aren't having the same length top as the same length of your, your capris. This is proportionally, this is something we have to be careful of in our outfits generally, but it's harder to achieve with a pair of capris because by definition, they're shorter than say your trousers. So they actually come in naturally closer to our top lengths. But if you're combining then your capris with a tunic, you're, you're getting your tunics the same length as your capris and your proportions just dumpy as a result and you know, squashed and not elegant, not, not elongating. So your top needs to be even shorter or it needs to be long. And this is where then some people make the mistake of wearing a tunic, but there are alternatives. So we can still achieve that length without, without a tunic, but think about those proportions. Also think about the width. As I mentioned earlier on, you don't want to combine your slim fitting trouser with a slim fitting top. Avoid your capris finishing at your mid calf. If you've got some in your wardrobe and that's where they fall, try rolling them up, turning them up, cutting them in and just sort of re-hemming them. You know, do something to, uh, to avoid that look. You can't, it's hot. you can't really lengthen them, but you can shorten them. Avoid the, the sort that are really close, slim, tight to your body. A more relaxed silhouette, I don't mean baggy. Not really, really baggy. Not like you're wearing cargo shorts, um, things with zips and ties and so on that are really wide and loose and you're gonna hike in them. I don't mean that kind of thing that are come, come to your mid-calf, but a more straight shape capri is more modern than the, the, the skinny, skinny capri. Avoid elasticated waist, especially if you're gonna show it, or if you've got an elastic waist, don't show it. But avoid one, unless it's got that, you know, a tie, whether it's a, a functional tie or just a decorational tie, that gives it a jogger effect. But yeah, the elasticated waist on top of 
a pant that's coming to your mid calf and making just I don't know it's just frumpy it really is frumpy so that's what we should avoid what we're going to look for slightly wider leg as I said a straight leg modern shape to your trouser whatever length it is you might want to go for a trouser that comes above your ankle instead so avoid buying anything that falls at your mid calf you could alternatively go for just below the knee and actually have just a sort of, sort of um, Bermuda shorts as an alternative. Now, I don't think they're particularly great, but they're slightly better than a mid-calf trouser that's making your legs look fat. But my preference would be come down closer to your ankle, which is elongating and it's going to make your ankles look really elegant. If you really love the, the skinny capri, and you have got the nerve and you've got that personality, you could really push the boat out and actually just, just go for it and call it a vintage look. You know, put a, put a headband in your hair, go for a skinny top with a collar maybe, and uh, just, just channel your inner Audrey. A look that I would really like as an alternative would be say some, some just above the ankle skinny, skinny trousers and then a, a loose pulled out to get that width, to get, so you've got the balance. Blouse. Hmm, I don't know that one. Blouse, slightly boho effect, and then maybe some little feminine tan sandals. And then you've got the balance lengthwise, and you've got the balance um, uh, proportionally wise as well, because you've got the loose with the tight. And pay attention to modernizing your footwear. I mean, sneakers at the moment, trainers are very popular at the moment, but with a sort of slim trouser where you're showing your ankle. I think that really we want something a bit more delicate. So we say a tan sandal, as I mentioned just now, or a tennis type trainer would be, would fit very well and, and give, still give that air of modern, but elegant, you've got the right weight there of footwear against your delicate ankle that's showing a nice blouse that's slightly puffed out. I still think a heel is a dated look. So I'd avoid a heel. I think you'd need to be wear, wearing a flat personally just to look more modern and current. Now I told you that tunics just, <laughs> tunics, <laughs> oh, they make me cringe a little bit, but some, the other word. Um, what to wear instead? Well, I think what really looks good instead is a long button down shirt, you know, a collared shirt and it's got tails or not, or a linen shirt that's square at the bottom but just long shirt is so much more modern to wear with your slim, shorter trouser than a tunic. And by tunic, I mean these things are sort of slightly shaped like this. They might have a little hem that goes like that. They um, have got flowers all over them and they're just a little bit, mm, mm, yeah, mm, frumpy. <laughs> so, Nice clean cut, vertically striped maybe, but a clean cut button down with a tail or not, as I said. I think that's a really chic look. And it just modernizes your, your capris. It modernizes your cropped, your cropped trouser that you're wearing. Now, if you've chosen to go for shorts, Bermuda shorts, again, a button down with a, your Bermuda shorts would be a good current look. Says you're in 2023. Another shape blouse you could think about is asymmetrical because there you've got slanted hem that is elongating and draws the eye away from your legs and to the hemline. It also draws your, way, your eye away from that midline, the widest part of your, your hips, because you're, it's, it's falling in a, in a elongating slant across and down across your hips. So that's a, a trick you might want to have up your sleeve. But then what else can you wear instead of capris? Skirts. In the UK, we often, you know, myself and friends and so on, we, we just don't understand. That's our own up to this. We don't understand why in a hot, humid climate you like capris, because when it gets humid here, the last thing we want is something around our legs. We just don't understand it. We just want to put a dress on, a dress and a skirt on, something that's flowy and billowing and we haven't got anything close to our legs so as we can breathe, you know, our legs can breathe. So we really don't understand why in um, the southern climates that they're so loved 
it, it kind of seems a bit, it seems to not make sense to us that you want to have something close to your body when it's sticky and hot. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe to get some more fashion related content, particularly for the over 50, over 60 woman. And let's just get to 100K. So if you've watched this video and you haven't subscribed, please do, because it helps me keep going and it was gonna help me get that silver button, which I really want on my shelf.